What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to calibrate your flow. Uh, this is a super simple thing to do. Um, if you've been following along thus far, we've already calibrated our E-steps, and this is the next thing next thing to do. So we'll jump over to Kira, and I'll uh, show you my settings and what we got going on and how to do this. So over in Kira, um, this is our test cube. We're gonna print this cube, and we're going to measure uh, the walls, and then that's how we're gonna calibrate our uh, flow. So. Um, I'll leave this test cube in the description. You can also get this test cube from uh, Thingiverse. This is, I forget the guy's name that uh, designed this. This is for a 0.4 nozzle too. If you're using a different uh, nozzle um, size, I'll link that as well in the description and you can pick from which nozzle size you have. But uh, we're running a 0.4 nozzle, which is the most common nozzle. Your layer height, uh, this is just what I'm printing at. You don't have to use this exact layer height. Um, but just leave it at whatever you normally would print at. The important thing right here is the wall thickness and the line count. Um, this should come over uh, when you uh, import the, the, the STL file, but um, you wanna have your wall thickness at 0.8. That means our wall thickness should be 0.8. And then our wall line count should be two. And then our flow, we want our flow set to 100. So the rest of the settings really don't matter um, I have infill of 20, not a big deal, and uh, normal print speeds. This is just my best PLA settings profile. Um, if you're interested in that, it's in. Uh, we have a, or I've got a video up of my best settings for Kira. So again, flow set to 100, and your uh, your shell, your wall thickness needs to be at 0.8, and your wall line count at 0.2. We're gonna go ahead and slice this. Um, I don't know if I put. I don't have a. a an SD card in here, but I will do that in two seconds. So we're gonna slice this file. And another way you can tell if it's right as well is if you have two walls here. So if you go to preview, and uh, you can tell that we only have two walls there. So we're gonna save this file and uh, print it on our printer and I'll meet you over at the printer and we'll get that going. All right, through the power of video editing, we are done with our first test print. Um, this is in PLA. I've already done this in TPU. Um, I kept get, having to increase my flow on TPU. Every time I did it, it said my measurements, I needed to increase it. Um, I've had this, I've done this before with TPU, and uh, I'm running an extremely higher flow rate with TPU. I think that's just because of the nature of the material. But anyways, let's continue on. We got our test cube here. We're gonna measure, um, if you want to, you can just measure um, once per each side, but we're measuring the walls. Uh, if you don't have a set of calipers too, I'll link these in the description. You can get them on Amazon, they're super cheap. Uh, they're great, super handy for 3D stuff or 3D printing stuff. But anyways, um, we're going to do eight measurements. You can, if you want, just measure each wall once, but I'm going to measure two measurements per side. So two on this side, two on this side, two on that side, two on that side. I'm going to write them all down, and we're going to add them up and get an average. So we're starting off on the first wall. We are getting 0.79.8. We're going to go with... Actually, that's 0.81. So 0.81. Should have got this other side too at the same time. Point eight seven. Point eight one. Point eight seven. All right, rotate the cube. Point seven nine. It's hard to read, 0.79, 0 0.80. And the wall should be 0 0.80. So we're no, we know we're right in the ballpark um, for proper flow rate. So that's 0 0.81, 0 0.80. Next side of the wall, 0 0.82, oh, 0 0.81, 0 0.81. So what is that, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yep, so we got eight measurements, we're done measuring. So now grab your calculator, unless you're good with quick math in your head, and we're gonna get an average of these numbers. So we're gonna add them all up. So 0.81 plus 0.81 plus 0.80 plus 0.81 plus 
0 0.80 plus 0.79 plus 0.87 plus 0.81. That equals 6.5. 6.5. So now we're going to take that number, the total of all of our measurements, add it all up, and we're going to divide it by 8. That'll give us our average. Divide by 8 because that's how many measurements we took. So we get a number of 0 0.8125. Okay, and now we're going to clear the calculator, and our desired wall width was 0.8. So we're going to type in 0.8, and then we're going to divide that by what we actually got. So 0.8 divided by 0.8125 and then hit equal and that equals whatever this number is 0 0.9846. So we take this number now and we times it by our flow rate. So our flow rate should have been 100 so we're going to times it by 100 and that equals our new flow rate. So my flow rate should be 98.46. We're going to call that, let's see, 98.46. So you can't do half percent. So we'll just call that 98 or 99. Um, 100 is fine too. I, I imagine, you know, there's a little bit of tolerance room in here. This is pretty damn close. So my measurements on this were, uh, for the thickness of the wall, were uh, 0.81, 0 0.81, 0 0.80. So, I mean, my flow rate is pretty dang good. Um as it is right now because I have my e-steps calibrated uh, correctly. Um, yeah, that's how simple it is to do. I'm going to redo. Um, we will, uh, if you want, I'm not going to do it actually because my e-steps, or my, excuse me, my flow rate seems pretty good. I'm at 98.5, 98.46. Um, I'm within, you know, 1% 1, 1 or 2% off of flow rate. But if you were uh, further off, that would be your, your your flow rate. So if you're over or under, you adjust it from there. So um, we would redo. The way to test this now would be to um, take our new flow rate, which was 98.46. You can uh, round it up. I think it's a, a better to um, under extrude just a hair. So I would just call that 98. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, um, you want to under extrude just a hair. And then the proper thing to do would be to slice this exact same file again with a flow rate of 98 or don't use my numbers use whatever your numbers are but that is how easy it is to do your flow rate um, i hope this was helpful um, like i said i'll post my findings on the tpu the tpu has been a lot more of a pain to get right i don't know like i said i have done this four times and each time i kept having increase my flow rate but with pla it comes out perfectly so i think that's just the nature of tpu um, yeah, because it's a flexible filament, but anyways, for my flow rate, I'm running 98 on PLA. And then for my TPU, I'm running 128% flow rate. Um, that might indicate I need to uh, raise my, or increase my E-steps. I'm going to do some more research on that, but, uh, yeah, hopefully that was helpful and you were able to calculate your flow, flow rate. Uh, you guys have a good day. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace.